lot of Filipinos can sing great, okay? Well, let me just tell you. I, I'm not one of those people, but I could be, okay? I could be. You're not about the flying epis, the walking epis, the un whatever epis, okay? <laughs> What's up to all my Felicia's out there? You're watching the Sydney Mason Show with your host, Sydney Mason. Since I've been learning Tagalog, I realized more than ever that my house is the definition of a Filipino household check. Now what that means is that we just got a lot of Filipino things in here, okay? We got a lot of things going on and I'm gonna show you right here today what that is. This is just for fun and I just wanna make you guys laugh today. But if you resonate with any of these Filipino household things, let me know down below. And if you're not already, subscribe because I'm gonna have a lot more Tagalog Filipino videos coming your way, okay? Lang. So without further ado, let me present the one and only first item that is the Filipino household check. <laughs> so this is Aroma. She's our hand dandy rice cooker. And if you're a Filipino, you know, you know rice is our life. Okay, you got it. You can eat that with spam. You can eat that with Vienna sausage. You can eat that with adobo. You eat that with pretty much everything, okay? This isn't just any regular rice cooker, okay? It is very loved. As you can see, it's so loved that it's almost <laughs> broken inside. Anyways, what goes along better with a rice cooker than a whole thing of rice, right? <laughs> So my mother taught me growing up that you should never have an empty rice bucket. And so we never do. And I have to lug those 50 pound rice bags across the Costco lines. <laughs> I'm traumatized. Anyways, I can barely carry this. Why am I like sweating so much? My shirt, the rice, the rice. The next thing is very fitting because it is food. Obviously, in a Filipino household, you will see an array of assortments of discombobulated meats. Uh, the first being Spam, my beloved, my joy, my happiness. And the next being Vienna sausage, a classic, a staple. And then we got the corned beef hash, okay? Now my mom told me again, you can never have too many things in your pantry. You gotta be stocked like the world is ending, which not gonna lie, in this quarantine, it's perfect because we have an overloaded amount of spams. We got the, you know, what do we see there? We got some artichoke hearts, you know, don't know what we're gonna use those for in 30 years, but <laughs> we're gonna by golly use them. Which this, this next thing just leads me into Filipinos having a stock of everything at <laughs> one time and just always being stocked up of like essentials, home cleaning things, toilet paper for one. I mean, let me tell you, we've got a lot of toilet paper. And during this quarantine, my mother even hid some of that toilet paper because now we're going to the non-comfort ones, you know, where you got the roll on it because it doesn't actually fit in the real thing because it's just too small and it's, just, it's not the right one, okay? And then we get the real ones hidden down in the corner behind some books and you're just like... <laughs> But you know what? I can't complain, okay? I got toilet paper, and if we didn't have that, she'd be threatening us with tabo. She was always like, you girls can always be using tabo, so, you know, your choice. And I choose toilet paper, okay? I grew up in the States. Thank you very much, Wendell. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know if I'm traumatized by the tabo either, but this next thing we got here is not a weapon. It's actually a bugzooka, okay? And this is because we do not like the cacaroches, okay? The ipis, no, okay, no. In a Filipino household, you just gotta, you gotta be prepared at all times, okay? You get that and then you, you get that bug. You get that cockroach, okay? We're not about the flying ipis, the walking ipis, the un whatever ipis, okay? So the next thing is a ton of baggies. If you don't have baggies from different various bread containers or, you know, whatever that is with dirt in it, then you ain't living in a Filipino household, okay? These are perfect 
for, you know, giving presents to people. It's your 21st birthday. Oh, awesome. We're gonna put a candle in here. Happy birthday to you. I mean, if you don't have a hundred bags from Safeway and Market of Choice, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, another example of this is that we have various meat packages that are just little Tupperwares we wash out, you know, we take those to lunch in middle school. Or we have like the little chocolate souffles and those ceramic tins that we just as well washed out. And now we use them to plant little seeds of flowers, so reusable. Reduce, reuse, recycle, people. That should be the Filipino motto. The karaoke machine is a staple in a Filipino household because stereotypically, Filipinos love to sing. Now, can I say that's true in my household? Absolutely. When Wendell gets up there to sing, there is a no stop in her, okay? And it is why in my family we have so many different options for singing, all wireless, of course. <laughs> we got this gold one here, we got this one like shaped like that, I don't, I don't know. Oh wait, this one has a cord, but uh... Unfortunately, it has been socked. <laughs> yeah, it just has, has a sock covering, unsure why. Maybe it's for the acoustics. <laughs> and I will always love you. Yeah, I was born for the stage. <coughs> just got a little something in my throat. <clears throat> That's why I don't sound normal. But anyways, this is what it has come to. And that is all I have for you today, folks. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. This is your host, Sydney Mewson, coming at you from the Filipino household of the Mewsons. <laughs> totally a Filipino name. Next week, we'll take a look at yours.